So out here today, I met with uh, Eric from uh, Lone Star Yak Fishing. And Blake. Yeah, so we're out here today. I'm gonna fish a little bit. Have this uh, open fishing invite coming up to Saturday. These guys wanted to come out early with another friend of theirs. And um, let's check it out. You know, I only have a few hours of fish today. So I'm gonna hit a drain or two that's been productive. And I'm gonna go back and uh, touch the marsh just a little bit and then start fishing everything back, way right back in. So pretty much what my game plan is for today. I'm not too sure what these guys are doing, but um, I don't know if they're gonna wanna tag along or fish along or what they just really wanna do is scout the area real good. <clears throat> Probably just work slow because I think they're out here all day for myself. Just a real quick short day. But this is Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Thank you all for coming back and hopefully we'll hook up soon. So Caden lures, okay, this is a lure I never used before. This little pack was given to me by um, by Eric, uh, Lone Star yak fishing and uh give me pretty good variety i think i'm gonna try this roach one first and um give these a give these a shot eric was kind enough to give me a little grab bag appreciate you eric thank you for thinking about me so i'm gonna toss this toss this toss some more toss some different colors toss 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 Man, that's what I get. I didn't think it was a flounder. I should have left him. Let him take it. He just had to tell. Let's not get him a bite again. Can't tell if this is mud or a fish. It's a fish. Little guy. He's just holding it though. I don't think he ever bit it. But they like this pink one. It's the only thing I got a hit on so far. Pink and white. No, you're uh you're Caden. a little chipper here you know they just uh liking this pink Katie man it's barely hooked him oh my god he has barely barely hooked but got this little guy let me grab him with the lippers because he is so it's extra slimy a little bit of slime sauce he has a couple parasites on him Ooh. So a little guy i don't care about the whiting I'll reel it in. If it bites, if it wants to bite, I'll reel it in. There we go. Dang it, Ruben. Yeah, so that's a third one. Third flounder I just had. Spit my bait. So... Uh, it's all my fault you know typically when flounders do though they'll grab onto it and hold on to it so you got to give them you got to live them give them i mean at least eight seconds typically i give them like anywhere to 10 to 15 but you got to give them at least a little bit to get that bait in their mouth and then uh and then set your hook there we go ah. feel small 
feel small. Yep. How about that? Left them biting, then they're still biting. It's a little road runner on this goat fluke. Just a little baby red, but you know what? It's the first red of the morning. I was just getting ready to say this is where we caught those reds at. <sighs> Finally got one. Nice little baby. Right in the nose. He didn't even he didn't even get to taste it. <laughs> he didn't even get the lure in his mouth. He just got a hook in the nose. How funny is that? This little guy right here. Little baby. Just looking for the bigger ones. I've seen a couple boils today. No blow ups. Saw some birds out here working, but chasing for a minute. <clears throat> Finally got one to take it. Yeah. Yeah, feels alright. It might be 17, maybe 18. Feels like a red. That's a trout. It's a good trout. It's a good trout. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Woohoo! And it came out in the net. Yep, look at that. Sorry about that. My battery just died. So. Anyway, hope the hope the fight got on here. But I was trolling this uh, down south lure behind me, and I caught this speck trolling behind me. And the hook came out as soon as he hit it. It's gonna be 16 and a half. So a nice 16 and a half. -er. Oh yeah, he's a male here. I'm croaking. Real bulldog. That's a good angle on there. But got a nice one. Oh, and he splashed me so rude. So I have no idea why my GoPro keeps keeps uh, keeps changing on me. I have it on the camera. I have it on the video, and then no change to put it on the camera. But so you just missed this. Probably missed this fight. This little guy right here caught him on that down south lure got him on that down south lure so he's just a little guy but you know what that's uh seems to be the pattern right now a bunch of undersized little males but if they want to bite if they want to nibble i'll let them that's gonna pretty much do it for me today today's the first day of spring and as you can see it's freaking gorgeous behind me but I met out met up this morning with uh, Eric from Lone Star Yak Fishing and a friend of his Blake but yeah end of the day with um, one slot speck a few undersized reds and a couple of undersized flounders but it was just a beautiful day out here real short trip I want to thank all my regular viewers and subscribers out there and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that notification button. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links are below. And the other YouTuber creators I was fishing with today, their links are below as well. So you should check out their channel. They're always putting out good content for everybody to enjoy. So thanks, everybody, and I'll see you all again. Yeah, I do thanks. that often? Um, we do more with our... our red drum and trout mm -hmm. we, we work with palacious a lot and we kind of meet in the middle but this was kind of a special these are southern flounder so this was kind of a they're tiny a different yes they are very <laughs> tiny oh my god that's too cool <laughs> wow look how small they are mm -hmm. and these are probably uh over 50 days old really yeah wow 
That's too cool. <laughs> Sorry, Mina. No, interrupt no, your day. Fine. I was just curious. Absolutely. You know, we go. I take my son sometimes. He'll go to. Um, we we'll do like the rainbow trout releases. We'll hit the ponds and oh, yeah, have a seven-year-old, yeah. and he loves he loves fishing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's I was what like, I grew up on, okay, like, yeah, inland freshwater, you yeah, know, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but so. yeah. So I'm gonna set up a pump and bring water in to try to decrease their salinity. That is too cool. Closer to the same parameters. I didn't I didn't know yet. I didn't know. The, I mean, I would assume you have hatcheries and, and release mm -hmm. fish, but I didn't know. Yeah, this was one of the locations. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me be nosy. You have a good day. You too. <clears throat>